This video is brought to you by Artlist. If you want to find out more about where I get my music from and how you can get the same high quality music for yourself, stay tuned until after the video. Yo, what's good friends, it's Jonathan. Welcome back to another JC production where I deliver your daily dose of hotness. In this video, we're going to be talking about audio. Audio is arguably more important than video when it comes to creating content. A lot of the things that you need to take into consideration when trying to capture good audio need to be done during the shooting process. That being said, there are a handful of applications and plugins that you can use to enhance your audio, fix it, or repair it. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my top five favorite audio plugins and applications that I use in my videos. So hopefully if you fluff up your video, you can relate to this video and find a fix. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. When it comes to capturing your audio, you have a few different ways you can do it. The easiest is to record your audio directly into your footage, which then you're relying on your camera's preamps, which might be okay or might not be okay. I'm not gonna get into detail about this because I don't want like a preamp board down in the comment section, but chances are if you're using a modern camera, your preamps are probably just okay. The other issue is if you want to record audio from multiple different sources, you're gonna be limited because you have a limited amount of inputs on your camera. The way to go around this would be to use an external recorder, but then you have to sync your footage. Now this can be a time consuming process, whether you do it clip by clip, or say your NLE just can't match up the audio with the video clip, you have to do it manually. Well, that's where Red Giant Pluralize comes in. First, open up Pluralize and drop your video files and audio files into the tracks. It might take a minute or two for the tracks to populate with all of the content, once it's finished, just click the sync button and that's pretty much it. Pluralize uses advanced algorithms to process and analyze the data in order to match the clips up correctly and it does it really fast. Plus, you don't have to have a clap or any synchronization tool inside the audio clip or the video clip. It's just going to detect it and it's gonna line it up. It also has an automatic drift correction feature to ensure your clips stay matched up and don't become out of sync over time. Once you're finished, you can export the timeline in the appropriate flavor, depending on your NLE. I like to also create a project that has the audio replaced already, since I can just drag and drop my clips in my timeline and not waste any time. Pluralize is a bit pricey coming in at 299 bucks, but time is money. If you do a lot of syncing, it's gonna save you a lot of time. Being able to work on other projects means you're going to generate more income, and over time, this is gonna pay for itself. Reverb is one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to the quality of my audio. I can deal with room noise, I can deal with the room rumble, I can deal with background sounds or even high sibilance, but when it comes to reverb, it just drives me nuts. Luckily, Deverberate can drastically cut down on the amount of reverb and your dialogue, removing any room echo without damaging the quality of your dialogue. Deverberate works right inside your NLE. Here's what it sounds like before I touch it to give you an idea. This is why I love this plugin. It's so useful, especially when you're on the road, you don't know where you're going to be shooting, and hotels are filled with tile, lots of hard surface, and tend to produce lots of room echo, and this plugin will just kill all that, making your audio sound high quality like you were back at home in your studio. Depending on your editing software, locating Deverberate may be a bit different, but for Final Cut Pro 10 users, this is where it's at. You have quite a bit of control when it comes to this particular plugin, but I'm only going to focus on the reverb time and the reverb level controls on the left. The first thing I do is make sure the difference monitoring box is turned on. This way it will isolate the reverb from my voice. Just remember that reverb time is basically how big the room size was wherever you shot. Since I know the room wasn't very big, I'm going to start pulling down the reverb time until the echo is isolated from my voice. It's not going to be perfect, but just do it the best that you can. Now I'll adjust the reverb level until I get to a point that kills the echo while also not destroying my audio, making it sound robotic. So here is what the original clip sounded like without any corrections. This is why I love this plugin. It's so useful, especially when you're on the road, you don't know where you're going to be shooting. And, and now here's what it sounds like with Deverberate and tend to produce lots of room echo, and this plugin will just kill all that, making your audio sound high quality like you were back at home in your studio. At 99 bucks, it's not cheap, but this is one of those plugins that once you use it, you'll never be without it. This is a neat little plugin that I recently started using that is not only easy to use, but a godsend for people like myself that tend to use background music behind their dialogue. The biggest issue when it comes to using background music is that it interferes with the mid-tones of your voice, making them sound muddy, washed out, and honestly, sometimes you can't even hear what you're trying to say because the background music is just interfering with the audio that much. That's where this plugin comes in. 
So here's a quick example of just dropping a music clip behind some dialogue and lowering the volume just a little bit. I feel that my footage is lacking character. This is why I tend to shoot outside as much as possible, but being in Florida with high temperatures, high humidity, now I'm going to drop the same music clip behind the dialogue and apply clear voiceover. Then it's as easy as adjusting the sliders until you get the results that you want. So here's an example of what the project sounds like with clear voiceover. Shooting inside can feel dull and boring sometimes. After I've used all of the surfaces in my house like 80 billion times, it just starts to feel like a redundant process. In the end, this affects my mood while shooting and in post-production since coming in at 99 bucks, it's easily one of my most used plugins and it's served me incredibly well. The ERA4 bundle is something that I recently added to my arsenal and I did it because I watched Film Riot's video on it and I was like, hey, this is incredibly useful. It's a suite of tools that can pretty much clean up and repair your audio in any situation. There's a noise remover, reverb remover, plosive remover, de-esser, declipper, and a voice leveler. All the plugins are available in most NLEs so you shouldn't need to open up a separate application. Just drag, drop, and use the dial slash slider to fine tune the settings until the audio is clean. Typically when it comes to my videos, I edit my audio inside of Adobe Audition. I do this because of the normalizer and the compressor. The normalizer and the compressor inside of Final Cut just isn't my cup of tea. So I choose to do it in Adobe Audition. I'm faster at it and it just sounds better in my personal opinion. That being said, it is a separate step and it's a long one if that, especially if I decide to do more than just those two things. The ERA4 bundle includes a voice leveler that I can literally stay within Final Cut Pro 10 and I have options for leveling out the voice due to the speaker moving around the mic or isolating the speaker from background noises. I used it on my most recent gaming bag video and I was pretty impressed. Here's an example of what it sounded like without the voice leveler. Yo, what's going on friends? It's Jonathan and I'm here in the Orlando Conference Center because they're having like a Halo Outpost event. So I figured this is a great time to show you what I'm using for a gaming backpack and what I brought with me. So um, I really think you guys are going to like this. This is actually like a throwback bag because... Now here's what it sounds like with the voice leveler. Yo, what's going on friends? It's Jonathan and I'm here in the Orlando Conference Center because they're having like a Halo Outpost event. So I figured this is a great time to show you what... I'm really impressed with the ERA4 bundle. And once my seven day free trial is up, I definitely plan on purchasing this bundle. At 119 bucks, it's not cheap, but considering the amount of tools you're given, it's actually a value deal. And if there's one thing I recommend that you buy off of this list, it's definitely going to be this bundle considering you're given all the tools you need to repair or fix your audio in any situation. Adding sound effects to your videos is extremely powerful and something that I highly recommend. It can create depth or atmosphere to whatever emotion you're trying to convey in your footage. The problem is finding the right sound effect for the right clip can take a really long time. I've personally spent hours searching for the right whip or whoosh for a transition and even longer looking for crowd noise for a specific project that I was working on. Soundly is an application that links to an online catalog filled with tons of libraries sorted by type, making it easy to find what you're looking for. There's a built-in previewer to sample the clips and once the right one is found, just drag it and drop it right into your timeline. Best thing about Soundly is that creating an account is free, which comes with over 1,000 different sound effects. If you have the budget for $14.99 a month, you can get over 30,000 effects, plus 10 gigabytes of cloud collaboration space and many add-ons. It's a pretty good deal. Well, my friends, that does it for this video. That was five awesome audio plugins that I use to help clean up and repair my audio. If you found this video useful, drop it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section, did you pick up any of these plugins, which are linked in the description, by the way, or do you have any plugins you recommend that I check out? I always love hearing back from you guys and I like looking into whatever your recommendations are. If you guys wanna join the JC Productions team, make sure to click the subscribe button, then ring the bell icon so you can be alerted when new hotness drops. Make sure to follow me over on social, you know, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, the works. And I will talk to you clear singing, backstreet boy, backup vocalist in the next video. I get asked all the time, where do I get my music from? And I use a couple different sources, including Epidemic Sound and Artlist. Both of these services offer a plethora full of songs, catalogs, and it's easy to find what you're looking for because they break everything up by the genre. When it comes to music with lyrics, I always go to Artlist, especially when it comes to hip hop. Nate Rose is probably the artist I listen to the most and the one that I feature at the end of my videos quite often. Plus, Artlist recently released the Stranger List collection, which is music that has a similar feel to what you would hear on Stranger Things. 
So here's what I want to do for you. If you use my link down in the description of this video to sign up for Artlist, you're going to get two free additional months on top of your membership. There's also a link to the new ArtGrid signup page, which is a service for super high quality stock footage. So whether you need some music or B-roll with stock footage, I got your back. No reason to fret. Links down in the description. What are you waiting for? Go check them out.